Artificial intelligence. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's starting to get a bit concerned with where all this AI stuff is going. So it all kind of poses the question, should we be worried about AI? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's get this going. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when I post new content. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about artificial intelligence and whether we should be worried about where it's going. AI, or artificial intelligence, has been practically inescapable this past year due to all the major tech corporations wanting a piece of the pie. Now, before I give you all nightmares about robots and artificial intelligence, I do wanna say that AI certainly has a positive side. Say you're a beginner programmer and need help writing a snippet of code. You can ask a chatbot like ChatGPT to write the code for you, and since it's literally a robot, it's more than likely to be exactly what you need. I've used ChatGPT for help writing JavaScript templates, and I seriously cannot stress how useful it's been. Without it, I'd probably have to spend hours digging through documentation just to find an unhelpful block of sample code that's probably not even close to what I need. So, uh... Here's why we should be more concerned than ever. Every single tech company this past year has introduced AI in one way or another. Even Snapchat introduced an AI bot in their app, which literally nobody wants. But for some odd reason, they make you pay to remove it from your chat feed. And here's something I thought I'd never say. There's even rumors about Apple integrating AI into this year's round of major updates. And I'm inclined to believe them because of their predictive typing feature that was pushed out to all devices late last year. In fact, it's estimated that 35% of companies across the globe utilize AI in one way or another. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but when you narrow your scope strictly to tech companies, that number gets a lot higher. Not to mention, as of this past July, half of global businesses have plans to integrate AI into their processes this coming year bumping that 35% up to a staggering 85%. With all this in mind, I think it's safe to say that AI has found its way into every little teeny tiny corner of our lives, and this makes it just way too easy for it to get out of our control. Some people may present the argument that AI can only do what it's told to do, thus making it virtually impossible to lose control over. And yes, this is true, at least for the most part, but we'll get to that here in a minute. People have to program their bots to do what they want. It's that simple. If you don't tell the bots what to do, they ain't gonna do it. Computer programs don't write themselves, they exist because a human being wrote them. If no one makes it, it never comes into existence. So I think with this in mind, we can safely say that we have full control over artificial intelligence. Sometimes. I'm sure most of you are thinking that this is always the case, right? Wrong. Most companies use this nifty thing called machine learning, which allows their AI bots to learn stuff over time with regular usage by actual people. But isn't this a good thing? Doesn't this mean that we can just leave our AI models to learn themselves and we never have to program them again? In a sense, yes, it is, but it also gives the AIs the ability to do what they want, whenever they want. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Theoretically speaking, it is possible for a machine learning based AI bot to become smarter than the humans who developed the AI bot, and, well, they could use said knowledge for malicious intent. Remember, robots don't have emotions and can't differentiate between what's right and wrong, so they're just gonna do whatever the heck they want without thinking twice about it. Now, obviously the chances of something like this happening are very low, but the possibility is definitely there. There's this website called thispersondoesnotexist.com, and it's literally just a photo of a random person every time you refresh the page. Except, as the name suggests, none of these people actually exist in real life. They're all created by, you guessed it, AI. What did you say? And the images that it creates are absolutely insane. Like, if I wasn't told that these were made by AI, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. And what's even more crazy is the fact that this site has existed for almost seven years now. It's like, it's not even new technology. Another important point to consider is how it's not just the AI bots themselves causing issues, it's also the intentions of those using the AI bots. I'm sure all of you know about the widespread usage of ChatGPT among students for cheating on schoolwork. People are using it to write essays and do classwork and all kinds of crazy stuff that no one could even do even two years ago. What's important to note here though is while doing something like this may get you into trouble with your teacher or your school, you won't be breaking any laws or getting into any legal trouble. Speaking of ChatGPT, let's ask it what it thinks about the AI revolution. What are your honest 
thoughts on the AI revolution. I gotta fix my grammar there. All right, all right, so ChatGPT says, as an AI myself, I don't have personal opinions or feelings. However, I can provide an analysis based on the data and perspectives up to my last update in January 2022, blah, blah, blah. The AI revolution presents both immense opportunities and significant challenges, so hey, uh, at least ChatGPT knows that AI isn't entirely good. On the positive side, AI technologies have the potential to revolutionize nearly every aspect of human life, so it definitely seems to know what's up with the AI revolution. And of course, it states that there's a bunch of risks too. Navigating the AI revolution requires careful consideration of these risks and benefits, along with robust regulations and ethical frameworks to ensure that AI technologies are developed and deployed responsibly. So ChatGPT clearly knows what's up here. But all this leads me on to my next point. As I mentioned earlier, you won't be getting any police involved if you're simply using ChatGPT to cheat on some schoolwork. However, it's not too difficult to get into legal trouble for using AI if you know what you're doing. The more control AI is given, the more vulnerable it is to security breaches, hackers, and all that fun stuff. In these days, it's easier than ever for hackers to use artificial intelligence to their advantage. According to Directive.com, hackers can use AI for automated attacks, cracking passwords, developing malware and deepfakes, social engineering, the list goes on. Remember, AI tools are just as accessible to hackers as they are to us normal people. At least, I hope none of you guys are hackers. Ironically, literally right when I was writing the script for this video, on February 15th, 2024, OpenAI announced their next AI model, Sora. It's like ChatGPT, except it doesn't generate text with prompts. It generates videos with prompts. Yeah, you heard that right. Seriously, the samples on the OpenAI website are mind-blowing. From the looks of it, you can be as specific as you like, and the AI will still be able to generate a video for you. Like, you got this one, which is literally just five words, and then you got this one, which specifies the camera's focal length, time of day, and a bunch of other stuff, and the model still gets it. This is both exciting and alarming at the same time. Exciting because it introduces an incredibly simple way to generate video clips, but concerning because of how scarily accurate it is. I'll definitely be using this for video assets in the future, though. Here's another issue. Money. We all know tech companies are really focused on money. It's not any of the stuff that they say that they're focused on. Everything corporations do revolves around money. And it's not terribly uncommon for industries to rush through production to meet a deadline and increase profit. Less time spent on production means less safety checks and security upgrades, meaning they're even more vulnerable to hackers and misuse. People are bound to notice these flaws later on, but at that point it's too late because it's already been released to the public. And so we come to the end. Should we be worried? Honestly, it really depends. No, at least not yet. People have varying points of view on the whole thing. One of Google's ex-officers even went as far to say that AI is worse than climate change. We definitely do need to be mindful of what we're allowing AI to do with our lives and whether it's for the better or for the worse. It seems like with where we are now, it's not gonna take much for all this to get way out of our control fast. I'm not saying that the Matrix is gonna become real and robots are gonna take over the world, but with how incredibly advanced AI is getting these days, it could very well change our lives. And I think it's important to remember that at the end of the day, what happens with AI is ultimately up to us humans. If we use it for the common good, AI could significantly improve the quality of human life. However, if we use AI with malicious intent, it could very well become our enemy, and it'll be nobody's fault but ours. You know what they say. With great power comes great responsibility. And so with that, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from me. Otherwise, that's about it for this video, and I'll see you all next time.